Roses are red, violets are blue. Diggy's still f searching for some love, and some of our viewers are too. Last month, we revealed our jam's mystery man. It's our guy, my guy, Diggy Moreland, past contestant from The Bachelorette. We received tons of submissions from women in Chicago who wanted a chance to steal your heart, my friend, for this Valentine's Day. And today, it all goes down basement. How are you feeling today, brother? Dude, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. It's been a long process, so I'm, uh, I'm ready to, to see who's out there. I mean, you've tried to find love on TV once. You did Bachelor of Paradise, tried to find it there. Yeah. It didn't work, man. It, it, I'm starting to think it's kind of tough to find love for you. It is. I mean, 2018, people have all these other options. And, uh, but now, you know, I think the city of Chicago won't let me down. So I'm excited. Get back. The jam won't let you down. Well, it's exactly. tough, but we narrowed it down to three awesome women. Today, they are vying for his heart in a fun dating game. Dickie, what are you hoping for today? I'm hoping to have somebody I can have a great time with. Um, we can have some great conversations, somebody with a great personality, and just, you know, enjoy the city of Chicago. So let's not wait any longer and meet the three lucky women, Felicia and Danielle. I'm going to hand it over to you. Yes, yeah, so we are so excited. So Dickie hasn't met any of these women, so he doesn't know what they look like, what they sound like, what they smell like. So <laughs> before we meet them, we want to, of course, get a look at some of their submission videos. Favorite thing that he's ever posted was on his birthday he took a pair of his own shoes and went out and gave them to the man he used to pass every single day that complimented his shoes i thought it was the kindest thing anyone could ever do and the fact that he did that on his birthday was just so amazing and i would love love to meet him i have a lot to offer and i feel like he would enjoy himself around me and have fun and he will not forget this date so yes, she was me. <laughs> I deserve to want to date with Diggy because I supported him while he was on The Bachelorette. I rooted for him with Rachel and you know, that didn't work out, but his bow ties were super cute and he was really funny. And so why not? Diggy cannot see any of these ladies. We actually have him hidden on the other side of our curtain here. He can't see us, but Diggy, you got some pretty ladies and some smart ladies. Diggy has a few questions to ask you. Uh, let's send it over to Jordan. Let's get these questions. So what do you think so far? Um, I, I like their submission videos from what I can hear, and I, I think they have some interesting facts. So now you got some questions to ask them, right? I do. Um, so my first question is, it's 5 p.m. on a Saturday. What are your plans for the night? Okay, we'll start Haley, you're Haley. first up. He said 5 p.m. on a Saturday. What are you doing that night? Probably getting ready with my friends to go out uh, around Chicago to the bars. Usually we visit Boys Town, dancing at Roscoe's, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lady yeah. that likes to get out. And what do you like to do, Miss Ma'am? Well, let's just say that I'm with Diggy. Um, we could be watching movies. I could cook for him. And, yeah. All right, so you already won in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jalen, what are you doing Saturday at 5? Well, it's cold in Chicago, so last week I was ice skating. But I'm originally from Southern California, so if I was at home, I would be wine tasting with the girls. Okay, next question. I send you a text saying, what are you wearing? How do you reply? What are you wearing? Oh my God. Well, okay. first, let's so establish it's a little creepy. Um, I would probably <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you it, want me to be wearing, Diggy? Oh, <laughs> you didn't miss the response. She said she would probably text back, say it again, girl. What do you want me to be wearing, Diggy? Mm, what do you want, Diggy? Okay. <laughs> Amber, what about you? She kind of stole my answer, but <laughs> I would be wearing a big t-shirt, but I would ask him what he want me to be wearing as well. So. But you got to say it the way you would say it in your mind. Okay, so this is how I would say it. What would you want me to be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Jalen? Well, it's cold and it's Chicago, so I'm probably in my Winnie the Pooh onesie. <laughs> <laughs> See, you guys are way nicer. I would have told him to buzz off. <laughs> All right, so my third question, what should I know about you that I would never think to ask? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so what is something, I guess, a secret about yourself, something that's personal? Well, uh, looking at me, most people wouldn't think it, but I'm really good with tools and building things. So if you need something built, I'm your girl. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> that is a so cool. A girl with a hammer. <laughs> mm hmm That's a good girl. Amber, uh, what is something um, we should know? I'm a daredevil. I love living on the edge, and I like the thrill of, I don't know, Everything. being a daredevil. Right. <laughs> Amber, your hoops gave that away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jalen, how about you? Um, I play two instruments, the oboe and the flute. So maybe that's something. Wow. Oh, right. That okay. is something. That is <laughs> something. Elbow. All right, so Diggy, we know that you love to dance. And uh, <laughs> you asked some girls originally if they have what it takes to get jiggy with Diggy, right? 
Yeah. Oh, look at his face. He's scared. <laughs> oh, well, the so one... now we can turn around. These are the women dancing right here. Okay. So obviously the silhouettes, because we don't want you to see their faces and reveal. Some have more rhythm than others. Okay. <laughs> we can work on the dance moves. Maybe that could be one of the dates. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say who's struggling a little bit, but. I, I get like a living single <laughs> vibe from the one in the middle, so I like that. Okay. I see confidence living on the right. <laughs> and on the left, she's just, she's doing her thing. I like it. They're dance like no one's watching except everybody's watching. Right? Exactly. Yeah. I love it. You yeah. feel good about where you're leaning towards? I think I, I, I'm getting close to making a decision. Okay, Let's well, go. we're going to hold that off. It's going to be a tough one. Are you ready to choose? I think so. The moment is finally here, everybody. Will it be Haley? Will it be Amber? Or will it be Jalen? Diggy, you got to make a couple tough decisions. Are you ready? On who to eliminate? This is probably the hardest decision I've had to make in a long time, but I think I'm ready. You okay. are now the bachelor. Like this is you. No, this is. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm Rachel now. I oh love my God. Diggy, okay, I'm so scared to ask, but who's your first elimination? The first elimination, I'm probably gonna go. Not probably, Amber. you are. I am going Amber. Amber, Amber. okay. Amber. Okay. Amber, come on Amber, out. Amber, come on, lady. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Amber. Tripping. <laughs> oh, you gotta look. You feel confident with this decision? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, Amber. It's I'll, okay. I'm gonna give you these. <laughs> and Alrighty. I have yeah. this for you as well. Thank you. But you know you. what? I'm still gonna give you a hug and kiss. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> Got some Thank you. Thank you. Who is gonna be your second elimination here? This was tough. Very tough. I think I'm gonna go Jalen is gonna be my second elimination. Okay. Jalen. Jalen, Miss Jalen. This is a law school student. Another, you might another, want to rethink. You know, <laughs> let, me give, let me give you a hug and kiss. Thank you very much. Attractive, intelligent. I appreciate it. Warm. Play the is flute for you. and the oboe. You. you gotta feel stupid. Flute, you know what? This is hard because I played the flute too when I was in band, so I definitely appreciate you coming out. So the big winner is, you could say her name, it might be your future girlfriend. Uh, Haley is Haley. the person I'm going with. Come on, she is. Hi. Come on, oh, oh, she's goodness. excited. Oh, I didn't even hey. want to see a kiss. That's what I came here for. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know what? Out. And I have these, <laughs> these for you and some chocolates. Thank so you so much. You're very starting welcome. off good, you're right? Very yeah. It's <laughs> a perfect Valentine's Day date. It really is. I'm so excited. Are you excited? So excited. Oh my goodness. So guys, we actually have a really big surprise plan for you. All right, so we have a romantic day, and it all starts with a sweet ride. Our friends at Presidential Black Car are waiting outside for you right now. We're sending you off in style, and your day begins right now. So guys. Tina, our producer, made this whole thing happen. She deserves credit, but I'm going to take the credit and walk you guys out. Let's do it. Black Car, you ready to do it? Let's do it. Follow the camera right there. I feel like it's da, 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 da. <laughs> no, not yet. All right. As Jordan takes them outside, we're going to fill you guys in on what they're about to do. They don't know yet. So since Diggy loves new experiences, we thought that we would start your day off at one of Chicago's favorite spots, the Shed Aquarium. They're going to enjoy a private tour plus a splash of other surprises. Yep, and after this, you will both enjoy a VIP gondola ride on the Centennial Ferris Wheel. Later, at dinner at one of Chicago's top-notch Italian restaurants, Prosecco. I love that place. That's a good place. Located at 710 North Wells in Chicago. Thank you guys again, and thanks to our friends at Presidential Black Cars for pro providing us with all that transportation. Also, a huge thanks to Urban Flowers for providing these gorgeous flowers and Red Sorbet Beauty for hooking us up and hooking our finalists up with the top of the line of beauty essentials.